The Mona Lisa, Starry Night, Dogs Playing Poker, all famous works of art known throughout the world, but what about the local artists? Hey everyone, Tony Panic here. This is Panic in the Region in Highland, Indiana at a pretty neat place. It's called the Promise You Art Gallery, and it's right here off Kennedy Avenue, and just my luck to check out some fine art. They're open. Let's go check it out. Wow, so cool in here, so cool. Joined by the co-owner of Promise You Art Gallery, Mary Beth Lubarski. Lubarski, is that Polish? It is Polish, that's my husband's name. You always know what the ski at the end. Mary Beth, it's a very unique building you have here that seems like a home, but it's really an art gallery. Tell me a little bit about the history of the place. Well, somewhere around 2015, my husband and I were just kind of checking out homes and we saw that this went up for sale. It was built in 1910 and I like old homes and we decided to check it out and it lent itself to an art gallery because we had a main level that we could put art in. Our three children are artists, so I thought it would be a good place to promote their work and the upstairs is an apartment. So um, we bought it. Yeah, I had a lot of work. We had to change from residential to commercial. So two years down the road, we were able to hang our our sign up and say open for business. I got to give a shout out to your son here, uh, David, because I actually have one of his pieces that I had made for a special order. It's fantastic work. The collages he puts together, it's amazing. And you're a little bit of a, your artist yourself. Let's not sell yourself short. You You dabble as well. I dabble in art. If you look into the kitchen, you could see the cabinets. I actually did the redid the cabinets that are out there. And I I guess I consider that a little bit of art, but I also have been trying paintings and just other craft type things. I sold quite a bit of jewelry here. Um, And yeah, whatever I have time for. Well, you're a very talented family, no doubt. And you think about looking all around this place. What talent we have here in the region. I know there's a lot of talent out there, but you don't realize it until you walk into a building and see all of it. Uh, Is this all local artists? These are all local artists. There are a few from right outside the state borders, but they are from um, Lake and Porter County mostly. How many pieces would you say are here currently? Because I'm trying to count all of them and I I can't keep track. I can't keep track anymore. There was a time where I could say a couple of dozen, but now we're up to, you know, a couple hundred maybe. You know, uh, we have others stored, so if something sells, I have other pieces to replace them with. And, yes, the art just comes in all the time. And I'm not just seeing a fine art of all shapes and sizes and designs. There's paintings, there's collage prints. There's drawings, so it's really a mix of everything. There's also some other knickknacks as well. I, I see some familiar faces of people I know here. Uh, their art is here too, so a little bit of everything, isn't there? Yes, there's. we have quite a bit of fine art jewelry. We have pottery. We have um, handmade soaps, handmade uh, scrubs, you know, those types of things, candles. So there's things that could be gifts. Um, we have... Uh, uh, Fused glass from an artist, and her work is really cool. So, you know, just you could wear it, you could hang it, you could give it away. It's a great place to buy things. Everything for sale. Now, say you're a local artist out there and they're watching this. They're like, man, that's cool. I have all this art, but nowhere to show it off. I kind of want to sell it somewhere. How do they get in contact with you? Is that something you normally take in? We do. So, the best way to get in contact with us is to actually send an email. Uh, request, you know, and let them know you're interested and uh, let us know, I'm sorry, that you're interested in bringing art in. So we we often ask them to either bring a few pieces in or just, you know, send us some JPEGs and see if it's something that we're looking for at this time. Um, But yeah, the best way is just to contact us. We always like people to come in first so they could just get a feel for the gallery and then that way they know if they'll fit in and they could talk to one of us. That's really the best way. Wow. Sometimes you just get lost in the art. Back here now at Mary Beth and 
boy, Mary Beth, I, I know we're in a different room right now. It seems like everywhere you look, there's some really great art. And again, got to bring up how talented is the region? I, I, I can't, again, I know there's talented people out there, but man, oh man, does it blow your mind? I know you're an artist yourself, but does it blow your mind to see what they could create? It, it does blow my mind. It almost puts me in a spot that, oh, I guess I'm not an artist because there are so many fabulous artists here. And when they bring things in and I think, how creative are they? So then I find myself trying to dabble, trying to say, could I create something similar but different? Because you're always looking for unique. Um, and it's it just has to come from inside whatever you see. Well, that's, you bring up a good point there because, you know, I, I, I got some talent out there, Mary Beth, but I don't know if creating art is one of them. I tried my hand at drawing things before, but I could never really get it down pat. Is there a secret being an artist yourself, a secret to creating some fine art or, I mean, does it come naturally? I think there's a point where there is some, some natural talent that happens. It's just innate. Um, my three children, our three children are artists and I just raise them with crayons and markers and pens and anything that they needed as much paper as they wanted. So I think that's part of it because they would just practice, 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 draw, draw, draw. Um, maybe the fact that, you know, we lent, uh, we just brought art into our world all the time. We have three musicians in the family, my husband and the two boys, they're all talented musicians. So all of it goes hand in hand. But if you really want to try your hand at art, it's, it's just a matter of picking up whatever medium you want to try and just start working it. Maybe even chalk drawings on the driveway. Sometimes too, you would look at something like, man, that's art, but art is kind of subjective. So anything, even those paintings with just a dot on them, that's technically art, isn't it? It is technically art, especially if you, if it induces some kind of feeling in the receiver and it's some kind of feeling in the creator. And that's really a definition, I think, of art. Uh, David actually told me that because he's the trained artist here. So I have a personal question to ask you, if you don't mind. Who are some of your favorite artists? I would have to say my all-time favorite artist is Norman Rockwell. I just loved him when I was young, and I continue to appreciate his work. But I also like the Impressionist era. So Van Gogh and Mary Cassatt and um, Monet, I love their art. What about you? you have any favorites? You're asking me a question here. Some of my favorite artists? Well, let's see. I like Dali, like uh, Picasso. I also, um, what's that? Oh, that one elephant that was doing all those paintings at the zoo. They were pretty darn good, which shows that anybody could create art, can't they? They really can create art, you know, and, and like I said, it's in the eye of the beholder. So whether it's the creator or the person looking at it, art is something that invokes feeling. Wow. So many cool pieces here. Well, I had a great time here, I promise you, Art Gallery, but you, you have to check it out yourself. In the meantime... Take care, everybody.